and we'll see if I can bring up a connection here with the SDM. When you launch the SDM after installing it, you're going to see this window here. It's going to ask for the device IP address or the host name, and I'm going to point to the interface which this loopback is directly connected to, and then specify that I want to use HTTPS in that connection. I click launch here. Okay. And when I go to bring up the actual SDM connection here, I'm going to, like I said, point to that interface and it is using HTTPS. It doesn't always go directly to it, to the actual SDM, so what I find I need to do if this doesn't work is HTTPS into the actual web service on the router and add the exception which is going to accept the certificate from the server. Confirm the security extension and go ahead and log in. So here's the, the basic HTTPS server that's running on that device. Now if I go to bring the SDM back up it will go through and properly process that certificate and it should prompt me for a username here in just a moment. This back window doesn't necessarily have to stay open, but I just keep it open. Okay, the website certificate cannot be valid. Okay, just hit yes. And continue waiting for it to load. This is a Java application, so you just have to be patient. Uh, what it's doing now is discovering all of the uh, configurations, pulling them off the router, and you'll begin to see some of these fields populate once it parses that that data and uh, determines if there's any routing protocols running. It's going to grab all of that running configuration, you see the interfaces that are up, their status, and uh, whether or not the router has certain capabilities such as uh, VPN, IPS, IDS, you can actually see right here. This particular uh, iOS is IP capable, it has firewall and VPN capabilities. It does not support IPS and network uh, access control. So this should be done loading in just a moment and we'll be able to take a look at the application. Okay. This device uh, actually application was implemented purely for security purposes and it's grown to much more than that. It's it's fairly powerful for what it is. Uh, you can see here actually this image supports uh, all of these services and it, these are not enabled. Firewall is not enabled. The VPN is not enabled. We will go over all of these with uh, within some future labs here can see the, the iOS version that's running, the SDM version, uh, the total and available memory, the flash capacity, there's just, just quite a bit of information here. So you can see that there are two interfaces that are both up and we can actually monitor these interfaces. 
like it's chugging along here. The CPU usage is rather high. This isn't the greatest of laptops, so it's not necessarily running this particular uh, iOS image at 100%. So, if I want to say uh, track a traffic status or interface status, we can bring up any of these sub menus here. And let's take a look at interface status on router 1. You can actually get real time monitoring here. See if this cooperates with me. And try and do just a basic ping test so we can see some of the utilization.